Hello, my beautiful darling loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Leo-only channel, and then I have my main channel, Tarot of Light. The links for all of those are in the description box below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. And when the winners are announced, I give away two five-question readings on this channel. Um, so hashtag reading to enter to win for that. And then I give away three $50 prizes. Um, to enter to win the $50 prize, just go ahead and post a positive affirmation in the comment section below with a green heart. Please don't forget the green heart, okay? Um, if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, I do have Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle that is buy one, get one free. And then I have Mystery Crystal Boxes that are 20% off. Video readings are 20% off. And then I have 20 and 30 minute um, phone readings readings available. Um, if you text me for a reading, my phone number is below. I'm usually available right away um, unless, you know, I'm, I'm in the middle of a reading or something like that. So you could text me if you need me, okay? What am I grateful for today, my loves? I'm grateful for my cancer babies, my YouTube family, my puppies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Look, I'm grateful for my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. Um, so loves in this reading, we're going to be touching on everything. We're going to do angel numbers, angel cards, animal cards, spiritual messages, future predictions, love. And that's going to be for exes, current partners and new partners. If you're crushing on somebody, we're going to do singles. We're going to do career. We're going to do cancer and all 12 signs. So everything in this reading may not resonate with you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. Oh, and general messages. So we got a little bit of everything. It's going to be juicy. Okay. All right. So let's get popping. Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies. Give me two angel numbers for my cancer babies. Okay. So the first angel number is 0909. We've got new beginnings here. Great chance, opportunity, courage, accomplishment, and Endings, conclusions, and big love. Nice. Look out for an opportunity that might be a game changer. You are completing something major. It feels good to level up, huh? Close the old chapter. A new adventure will unravel. So Cancer, many of you could be going through some type of ending. I love the angel in this card. Um, many of you could be going through some type of ending. It could be a career ending. It could be um, a way of li living, a way of thinking, um, you know, changing your attitude to, to negative, to positive thoughts. Um, it could be ending a love relationship, giving up on a love relationship. So spirit is saying whatever new is coming towards you is exciting. Don't forget, my loves, that sometimes when it feels like everything is falling apart, it's actually falling together, okay? Um, second angel number is 1010. It's up to you. Moderation, patience, flow, clarity, joy, movement, self-realization, taking action, and unconditional love. It's time to put those long-cherished ideas into action. You will soon come into contact with the appropriate individuals, circumstances, and resources. Eventually, you will experience joy as well as brand new opportunities, trust in the process. So again, Cancer, Spirit is saying it's up to you to align yourself to receive what you've been manifesting. If you want a new house, if you want a new car, new love, new money, you know, it's up to you to align yourself to receive and have patience during that transitional period. Okay. Um, again, it's important to remember when everything is falling apart, it's actually falling together. Okay. So let's pull two angel messages for you. Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies, please. Okay. 
So we've got unlimited ideas. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need is to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. So Cancer, when you feel confused on you know what your life path is, where you should go, what you should be doing, Spirit is saying, you know, at the end of the day, God is in control, Spirit is in control, the universe is in control. And all you have to do is quiet your mind and listen, and you'll be guided in the right direction. Okay. We have donations, tithing, and charitable work. Give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you and know that your generosity will be returned to you many fold in miraculous ways. The time supplies money or other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. So cancer, it's definitely an energy of giving to something, but giving with a joyful heart. So find a charity. Um, uh, me particularly, not to tell my right hand what my left hand is doing. I'm just advising it. Unbound.com, U-N-B-O-U-N-D is a great website. It's highly rated um, for feeding children and elderly people overseas, you know, in third world countries. So I donate to that, but you can, you know, go to a church, go to a hospital, you know, uh, find something that is within your limits of time and capabilities and do something that makes your heart happy. Okay. Cause you want to give with a joyful heart. All right. Okay, so next we're going to pull some uh, animal spirit oracle cards. Give me two cards for Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, Cancer, I have been obsessed. And when I tell you obsessed with butterflies, I mean obsession. Butterflies and Luna moths, okay? Um, when Buddy passed away, I saw a yellow monarch butterfly. And I have I there was one that always comes to my house. I've seen up to four gather all together, like and I'm talking hanging out in my backyard, not flying. They would land and literally hang out together. Obsession with butterflies right now. So, anyways, uh metamorphosis. Pay attention to the areas in your life or personality that are in need of profound change or transformation. You you are about to enter a phase of expansion and growth, which will be highly beneficial for your future. So cancer, this talks about you know, my father, may he rest in peace, used to say, when you're pointing a finger at somebody, you've got three pointing back at you, right? So this is an energy of instead, in, uh, instead of blaming your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your ex, um, all the people that have hurt you in your life for whatever is going on, instead focusing on yourself and what needs to change in your life. Next, we've got dolphin, peace. The gentle nature of the dolphin reminds you to look for the good in everyone and strive to bring peace to your life and those around you. Trust your instincts and intuition rather than overthinking things. So Cancer, this is an energy of kind of live and let live. If your mother hurt you as a child, it's coming to an understanding that at the end of the day, your mother is just a woman. She was a woman before she was a mother and nobody's perfect. Same goes for your father. Same goes for exes. Same goes for anyone that has ever hurt you. Understanding that we're all human and, you know, hurt people hurt people and just letting it go, releasing and deciding, you know, they say that holding on to pain, holding on to hurt is like drinking poison and expecting the other to die. So this is releasing the power and the hold that people have over you, okay, um, and inviting peace into your life, all right? Um, I was going to only do two oracle cards of each, but this one is really calling to me. We've got Ladybug and Luck. Your goals are about to manifest in remarkable ways. Dreams are coming to fruition. Stop and enjoy this moment. It is important to let things flow at their natural pace. Rest assured that in due course of time, your wishes will come true. So again, Cancer, a very strong energy of focusing on yourself, where you want to be in life, what you want to manifest and, um, aligning yourself to receive those manifestations. Okay. All right. So let's see what future predictions are coming towards my cancer babies, please. Future predictions coming towards my cancer babies, please. Future predictions for my cancer babies, please. Okay. So we've got clarity. We have witchcraft. We've got lonely. Oh, 
Oh, nice. We've got new love. We have time. It will happen within a week. And then we've got cleansing. Okay. So first and foremost, Cancer, I want to say this, okay? There could be someone in your energy that's wishing you bad, okay? Someone here could dabble in, in the dark arts, okay? And that's fine. Nothing to be worried about, nothing to be, uh, you know, crazy over, okay? Because when you live in love and you live in light and, you know, you're close to God, none of this crap can touch you. So I don't want you to panic, okay? Okay. I do feel that you're going to gain some type of clarity that someone here just doesn't like you, okay? And I feel like, Cancer, many of you wake up in the morning and the person that's doing this to you is the last person on your mind. I feel like you don't even shit this individual. Like, I mean, you're like, what? I mean, but I do feel like you might have a dream or someone may tell you, yeah, you do know that this person doesn't really like you, you know? Um, it could even be, and a lot of us don't realize this, but let's just say you have an ex, right? That you could care less about. I mean, seriously, last person on your mind. And this ex ends up in a new relationship with someone. And that girl or that guy is intimidated by you. They may feel that your ex is still in love with you, or you may be better looking than the ex. You may make more money than the ex. And, and they have some type of insecurity over you. This is someone that could be wishing bad on your life. And you don't even know this person. You don't give a shit about this person. And it is important to realize that, you know, there are p the enemies in this world that you don't even know that you have. Okay. So spirit is advising you to declutter your space. Okay. Clear your energy. You know, even if you don't know that you have enemies or you're like, Gina, I'm not really beefing with anybody right now. I'm just trying to live my best life. There are people out there that are still going to hate on you. And that's just life. You know, Cat Williams says, if you wake up with 14 haters this morning, go to bed with, you know, 16, right? you know, the more haters you have, the more successful you are in life. And that's just the way life is. Okay. So the first thing spirit is advising you to do here is take a salt bath or a salt shower, use spells or crystals to protect your energy prayer to protect your energy, listen to frequency music. And it's very important to declutter your space, especially closets. Closets can be portals for negative energies. Okay. Um, whatever you have, if you've got that one bookshelf that you, you know, it's all cluttered and you don't really dust it because there's a lot of crap on it, clean it because stagnant energy, when you have things sitting in one place for too long, it creates stagnant energy. And it's also a great place for negative energies to hide. Even if you're saging your house. It's a great place for energies to hide because you don't ever go there. You don't touch it. You don't move things around. Okay. Especially when you're sleeping in the area that you sleep cancer, make sure that everything is clean, put away, decluttered because negative energy loves chaos. Okay. Cancer, if you've been feeling lonely, okay, if you've had low self-esteem, nobody wants me, if you're on these social media sites and you're looking at these really gorgeous women or these really hot men that have a shit ton of money and you're like, who the hell is ever going to want me? Look at what's out there right now. You may feel unheard or as if no one cares about you. So you're not really going out. Spirit is saying within the next week, there is a very strong possibility that you may be running into uh, a new love interest. So guys, shave your legs, brush your hair, you know, trim that beard, you know, that make sure that you're not going out with a crusty shirt filled with ketchup and, you know, try, try to look good with, at least within the next week, because you may be running into, uh, someone that is crushing on you or good. That's going to fall hard for you. Okay. There is a potential of you bumping into a new love interest. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some general messages. I love this deck. And I hate it at the same time because it is so hard to shuffle, but we're going to make it work. Okay. <laughs> we're going to make it work, but I love the messages that it provides. So I'm going to pull four cards from each deck and then we will get this on and pop in. Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies. Tell me about my cancer babies. Okay. So that's one. Tell me about my cancer babies, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Cancer, please. Okay, that's two. We are almost there. Bear with me. 
Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies, please. Tell me about my cancer babies, please. One green one. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have here. So we've got rat. We've got grasshopper. We have target. And we've got mountain road. So again, cancer, there's someone here working against you. Okay, there is. There is someone here that doesn't like you. And this is a very goal-oriented person. There's a target on your back. There's a big X on your back here. Okay. Um, you are on the road to success. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. Okay, so Cancer, this is basically another message here of you have big things coming towards you. Okay. And the mountain, especially in the Lenormand deck and just in general could represent obstacles. Okay. So what you want to do here is this does require careful handling. This is an energy of simply clearing your energy and not allowing, again, you may not have beef with anybody. You may not be mad or annoyed. You're just focusing on your success and your own life. But spirit is saying, do not forget to protect your energy. Okay. Do not forget to protect your energy. If you're Christian, you know, make it a point to say the Our Father twice a day because the Our Father cleanses you of sin. If you're cleansed of sin, it's harder for, you know, any negative en energies to attack you. Um, you know, if you're not Christian, you know, just a few times a day, I rebuke any negative energies. If you find that you're thinking negative about yourself, your coworkers, your love interest, just rebuke it. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke these negative thoughts. You would be surprised in a 10 minute frame of time, how your thoughts change. Okay. So let's see what we have here. So we've got peacock. We've got caterpillar. We've got claw and we've got bird flying here. Okay. So cancer, first of all, you're coming into a lot of success here. So be careful not to, um, like throw it in people's face that you're doing better than them, or beware of people that even if you don't live in the ego cancer, even if you're just successful and you're humble about it, people may feel like, Oh, look at cancer on their high horse. Okay. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So cancer, if you guys, are lonely, if you guys are broke, if you're unhappy, big changes are ahead for you. Okay. And I feel like you may have people that are looking at your life and you're doing so well. You know, it's like people are okay when you're doing bad. People might be okay when you're eye to eye with them. But once you start growing and, and getting bigger than where they stand, people tend to not like that. Okay. So you may be sitting in an energy where you're just high vibe and so happy that things are changing in your life, you forget to acknowledge that there may be some people that are not clapping when you win. Okay. Um, there is news on the way. Okay. But sp a spirit is advising you to not take any risks. Okay. What is this news coming in for cancer? What do we have here? Pain of events that will affect your life. So cancer, there is some news coming in that may really affect your life here. Doing something risky, taking a chance. So whatever is coming in here, cancer, will require for you to take a risk. Spirit is saying, do not risk it. Okay. So if you have someone calling you saying, Hey, you know, uh, I want to hire you don't go. Okay. If there's an ex coming back saying, Hey, I want you back. And you feel like it's a risk, like it's a 50, 50 chance. This person might change. Don't take it. You know, if there's a friend or a family member that, you know, is toxic and they are reaching out to you with some type of news and they want to like, you know, get back into your life. Don't take that risk. Okay. Um, you know, if, if you're finding out here that someone is in a financial bind and you have the money to help, don't take that risk. If you get approved for something, if you get approved for something and the, um, interest rate is high or it's a risky situation, don't pursue that. Okay. Next we've got mountain major challenge to overcome. And then we have career. We've got flute disappointment in a friend or lover. And then we've got dealings or relationship with a man. So cancer, there is a man in your life here. There may be a man in the workplace 
that doesn't like you or that may betray you in some way, shape, or form, you consider this person a friend. Now, Cancer, especially, especially if this is a romantic situation in your love place, okay? Maybe you've been dealing sexually or romantically with a man in the workplace and, you know, you guys get found out by your boss, that may be a problem, okay? Um, there could be a, a, a man or a woman that has a crush on you in the workplace, but you don't want to get involved with this person. This is someone that may cost you your job because you're rejecting them. Okay. Whatever it is, this could be a friend or a lover, and it is a man that can cause some problems in your workplace. Okay. If you know, you're crushing on a coworker, don't go there because you know, they say don't shit what, where you eat. Right. So that those are your general messages, all right? So let's go ahead and move into love. We're going to start with the ex. We're going to move into um, if you're currently dating someone, and then we're going to move into if you're crushing on somebody, do they like you back? And then we'll get into singles, okay? Spirit, tell me about Cancer's ex. What do we need to know about Cancer's ex, please? What do we need to know about Cancer's ex? I don't like the way those fell out. Tell me about Cancer's X, please. Cancer's X, please. Cancer's X. Okay. So this is, this person uh, may potentially be into hiking, camping, outdoors. So that could be like just, uh, a, you know, a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, just a sign on who we could be talking about here. With honesty and secret love, Cancer, um, this person may be coming towards you and being honest and telling you that they were lusting after a third party and that is what ended your connection, okay? Your person may have thought that this third party was the one and it turns out that they were a gold digger using your person for whatever they can get out of your person. I do see an apology coming back in. I do feel if you did not understand what caused the ending in your relationship, you're getting some type of clarity and maybe even closure here. Okay. You're getting the apology that you deserve. Tell me about this ex coming around for cancer. Tell me about this ex coming around for cancer. We've got the queen of wands. We have the wheel of fortune. We have the seven of wands. We've got the five of cups. We have the devil and we have the seven of swords. Yeah, cancer. First and foremost, the tables are turning on this person because they chose wrong. Okay. The devil card ties very very strongly into the lover's card because with the lover's card, we've got Adam, Eve, and the snake. And this person chose the snake. They chose temptation. And now, you know, the devil gets to play puppet master, right? So I feel cancer, your person is going from thinking that they've met the one, thinking that they hit the jackpot in love to being extremely disappointed that they made the wrong choice because this third party was a liar, a gold digger, greedy, egotistical, um, not a good person. Okay. Not a good person. Tell me more about this ex. What does cancer need to know about this ex? Yeah. Nine of swords, your person's kicking themselves in the booty cancer. Because with the six of swords and the nine of pentacles, I feel like it might be too late. This person has taken so long to come to the realization about this third party that you have um, gotten over this person. You know, you're single, you're independent, you don't care about this person anymore. You're out here living your best life. And not to mention, you may have had some type of glow up financially or physically. I mean, you're shining like a star here. You know what I'm saying? Everything that you touch is turning to gold. You're stable. You're at peace. You know, you're at peace. You are at peace. And this person, you know, broke your heart, went to a third party. You know, they were very public about this third party. They were very like in your face about this third party, about how they were going to marry this person. Um, you know, they thought this person was their twin flame, their soulmate, that they were so in love with this individual. And this person just completely walked away from you, tossed you to the side like you were garbage. Okay. Like you were garbage. 
I feel like this third party went through every last penny that your person had, maxed out their credit cards and everything. And the reason why your person had to drop every dime on this individual is because if your person didn't do it, this is a third party that would find someone that would. This third party has a lot of competition. And now that your person is out of money, that third party is gone. That third party has gone towards someone else that they could suck dry financially. Okay. So your person may be in debt right now. Well, not your person, your ex may be in debt right now. Okay. Do we see reconciliation here between cancer and this ex, please? This person is going to come in asking you for money. OK, they're going to come in asking you for money, asking you for help, asking you for a place to live. And with the seven of wands, I, I don't think that you're dealing with that. I do not think that you're dealing with that. With the six of cups here and the emperor, this is someone that when you left this person, they may have had a high paying job. This person may have been well off financially and now they're a mess. You know, they made the wrong decision. They chose lust over love. And I don't think that you really get give a shit about this person's financial situation. Okay. That's your problem. You know, two of swords here. You don't care. The tower in the reverse cancer is an energy of when it's in the upright, the tower falls and there is still the ability to rebuild once you repair that foundation. When it's in the reverse cancer, this is an energy of what this person did to you blew the foundation out of the water. There is nothing left. You are moving on. You are happy. You are free from this person. Now they're chasing you relentlessly because their life is in shambles. Okay. Their life is in shambles. And with the strength card and the two of pentacles, you're sitting in an energy of, listen, dude, I don't know what you're going to do. I have no idea. Maybe get another job. I don't know what to tell you, but I, I, you know, strength card, I'm not getting involved. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not getting involved. You're not touching this with a 10 foot pole. But I do feel that with the nine of cups here and the hermit, there is an energy of after this conversation is over, it's almost like closure for you. It's almost like, you know, listen, cancer, at the end of the day, you're human. Okay. We're all human. And when someone hurts you to this extent, okay. It feels good to see that karma is on your side. Okay. You're definitely, it's like the nail in the coffin of you finally healing and moving on from it. Okay. Um, I mean, I feel like you're 99.9% .9 healed from this person, but it was just like that what, one last thing that kind of makes you smile of, well, you know, it is what it is. Karma's a bitch, you know, and it may have taken quite some time for karma. You know, in my case, I mean, shit, I, it's been, you know, I'll get phone calls of ex is from 10 years ago that their life is in shambles and they want me to do readings for them. And I do the readings, but even myself, I mean, I'm going to throw myself under the bus. I'd be lying if, you know, I, I don't have a, a tiny little Sylvester cat smile, you know, like <laughs> karma is real. You know, karma is a thing, baby. All right. So let's move into, um, new, no, if you're currently dating someone, if you're currently dating someone, okay. Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies that are currently dating someone currently dating somebody, please currently dating somebody. So we've got influencing friends and hustler. Tell me about my cancers that are currently dating someone. We've got suspicious mind and we've got tipsy in love. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got spiritual cleanse and we've got waiting by the phone. So cancer, if you're currently dating somebody, I feel like this connection is going from the honeymoon phase of being just drunk in love with this person to all of a sudden you going into like eight of swords mode where you're becoming very suspicious of this person. Okay. I feel like this is someone that may have, uh, you know, a bad friend group, or this is someone that if they work in a club, if they work in a strip club, if they uh, go out with friends and go to clubs, like this is someone that may be telling you that they're going out with their friends and they're just going to their house to watch the game or something like that. 
but they end up in nightclubs. Okay. This is someone that could be cheating and you feel spiritually dirty when they come home and you have sex with this person. I feel that this is someone that you're currently dating and normally like this person will text you at night or text you good night. And I feel like all of a sudden they're not texting as much. Okay. Now you're sitting in an energy here, cancer empress energy, and it may, it may upset you because you're like, you know what? We live in a day and age where no one stays. You may be very disappointed because at the beginning you were drunk in love with this individual. Okay. And now you're feeling a Abandoned. You know, this person all of a sudden is hard to reach. So unfortunately, I do see this connection ending. But Cancer, I feel like you're going to bounce back very quickly. Okay. You're going to bounce back very quickly. You're going to get your self-esteem back, your sexy back. I feel like you're going to be disappointed for a quick minute, but at the end of the day, you're saying, you know what? I'm happy that I saw the red flags early on. Um, you're letting go of the trust issues here because it's like, you, you know, you know, something is wrong. You're losing trust for this person. You may have a dream that something isn't right with this individual, you know, pay attention to your dreams. And I feel like you are going Going to release this. Okay. Because at the end of the day, cancer, you are not an option. And you know that this person is doing some sneaky shit behind your back. They will try to get you back cancer, but I feel like you're locking this person out because you're looking to upgrade. You know, you're looking to upgrade. What you're not doing is you're not going to be with somebody that goes towards third party energies and comes home with an unclean, you know, you're worried about STDs here or cancer. Some of you are empaths. Some of you are very sensitive to energy. And when you like sleep with this person or get close to this person, it's almost like you can feel another person's low vibrational energy on your person. Okay. And it's toxic and you don't want to deal with it. So if you're currently dating someone and their attitude has switched up, they're not talking to you as much. Like if you're trying to reach this person at nighttime or on the weekends, they're, they're up to no good. And I don't feel like it's going to be disappointing, but I really don't feel feel like you're going to let this, um, you know, destroy your life or anything like that. Okay. Um, let's move on to if you're crushing on somebody. Okay. Spirit, tell me about cancer's crush. How does cancer's crush feel about them, please? How does cancer's crush feel about them, please? How does cancer's crush feel about them? We have the ace of swords and we have the six of cups in the reverse. So cancer, your crush has come to a realization that their ex or the type of people that they have chosen in the past are no good. So this is someone that is single. This is someone that does not have any exes hanging on them. Okay. This is someone that with the emperor and the 10 of pentacles here and the eight of pentacles, they are working on their life. They are working on their money. This is someone that may own their own job, but this is someone that is looking for something serious. How do they feel about cancer? We've got the king of swords. We've got the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So Cancer, this is someone that is seeing you as pre-Empress energy. I feel like right now this person is studying you to see if you are someone that is worth sitting behind them. Because trust me, Cancer, this is someone that if they're, they are a catch. Okay. So even if this person isn't at their, the best version of themselves right now, they have big plans for their life big plans for their life. And they're looking for someone to either ride with them until they reach their goals or they have reached their goals and they're looking for an empress to stand next to them. I do feel that with the Knight of Pentacles here and the Fool card, it may take a little time because this person is studying you, but they will <clears throat> take that leap of faith and ask you to go out. Okay. From there, I do feel that with the Four of Wands and especially with the pre-empress here and the Empress, this could be a twin flame union, but I do feel 
like this is the one. Okay. But my advice to you, cancer, if you're crushing on somebody, let them make the first move because right now they are studying you to see if you are truly what they want in a long-term partner. And once they make their move, it'll be on like Donkey Kong baby. Okay. This is going long-term. All right. Okay, so let's see what we have here for my singles. Spirit, tell me about my Cancer singles, please. My Cancer singles. What's coming in for my Cancer singles? So again, you do have that X that is coming back to reconcile. Okay, we saw that, you know, this person regrets breaking up with you. Okay. They regret breaking up with you. They took a chance on that new love and that person ended up being a snake. Oh, well, tell me more about cancer. So we have single here. We've got mystery and new love. Yeah. Cancer. Some of you are wondering if you're going to be single forever. Nope. You do have new love coming in here. And I do feel like this person is a extremely sexually attracted to you. This person is going to drop hints, uh, letting you know that they like you. And with romantic feelings here, um, they want to let you know that they're attracted to you and that they have a crush on you. So you're going to have to read between the lines here um, and maybe give this person a little hint back that it's okay for them to open up. And um, look, finances literally fell on top of your ex. This is someone having money problems. Oh, well, baby. Oh, well. But Cancer, so this new person coming into your life um, may drop hints to see if you feel the same way. Okay. So you may have to give this person a little hint back, a little nudge for them to make the first move. Okay. Okay. We've got travel signs and synchronicities. Um, I do feel like, uh, you know, you may be seeing certain angel numbers or certain signs or, um, dreams, pay attention to your dreams that, uh, something is coming towards you. This new person may like to travel. This per new person may like to take you out and court you. The grass is definitely greener with this new person. You are meeting this person in divine timing. This new person is going to lead um, they're going to, it's going to lead to high levels of commitment. And I feel like your ex, um, is heartbroken because they made the wrong decision. This person could be going into a dark night of the soul because they chose a third party that was lying. This third party was wearing a mask, you know, so it is what it is. My singles, you're going to have, you know, this broke ass ex coming back towards you. And honestly, it is not, not your circus, not your monkeys. Okay. All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for finance and career spirit. Tell me about my cancer babies, finances and career, please. Finance and career for my cancer babies. All right. So we've got walking away is the right decision. And then we've got next week. So Cancer, you're leaving something behind next week. And um, Spirit is telling you that you are definitely making the right decision here. Okay. Um, your confidence may be low financially, but you've got some type of blessing coming towards you. You could be getting a new job that pays you more and you feel like you hit the lottery here. Um, some of you could be actually winning, you know, a scratch off or winning money, but there's definitely good fortune coming towards you when it comes down to your finances. Okay. Spirit, tell me about cancer. Okay. So cancer, there may be some type of raise or promotion at your job. And spirit is saying that you're not going to be chosen because your manager, your bosses dislike you. Okay. It has nothing to do with, um, it has nothing to do with your worth, your work ethic, but they just don't like you. And that is why I think spirit is telling you you're making the right choice by moving to a place where your boss or your business partner here, um, treat you better. Okay. Uh, this will be happening. We've got this week and next week. So this is happening pretty soon. Spirit is saying to keep your next move, uh, a secret here. Okay. 
This new job that you're getting, you may end up, event if it's far away from you, uh, you may commute initially, but you're going to be making so much money that you can then eventually relocate to be closer to where you're working. Um, if you've been wanting to move or buy a new house, this new job is going to make you enough money to where you'll be able to move or buy a new house, okay? Be careful with your credit cards right now. Don't overspend. Don't max out your credit cards. You guys already know. And if you don't know, now you know. Anything over 30% on your credit cards will drop your credit score. And you don't need that um, drama in your life right now, especially if you're trying to purchase a new house, okay? All right. So spirit is saying that, you know, you have good luck coming towards you financially and you may be living in fear that eventually this luck will run out. And spirit is saying that by doing so you're manifesting poverty into your life, accept your blessings, be grateful for your blessings and believe that you are going to continue to be blessed. If you're going into business or you want to start your own business, Spirit is saying a business partner is advised at this time, okay? We have there will be a better offer and you are being used for your finances here. So Cancer, again, if this X comes back or if anyone is coming towards you trying to use you for your finances, Spirit is saying to not reconcile with this X. I feel like these two are very strong about your X. This is an X coming back trying to use you for your finances and you do have a better offer um, coming in when it comes down to love, okay? All right, two more. We've got don't cut corners and things will get better. So cancer, um, spirit is advising you to, um, to not cut corners with things. You know, some of you may be in an energy of, of oh, screw it. Things aren't going to get better for me anyway. I don't care about my job. I don't care about this or whatever. Uh, don't, don't do that because things are going to get better when it comes down to your finances. Okay. All right, let's move on to cancer and all 12 signs. And then we are done, babies. Um, okay, spirit, tell me about cancer and all 12 signs. I'm not sure why I took this deck out, but let's go ahead and put it back. Okay, spirit, tell me about my cancer babies and all 12 signs, please. Tell me about cancer and all 12 signs, please. In love, cancer and all 12 signs, please. In love. Cancer and all 12 signs, please. In love, Aries to Pisces. All right. If we are dealing with an Aries, we've got the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Magician. So, Cancer, there's an Aries here that has really thought about what happened between you guys, and they're realizing that they owe you an apology. OK, this is someone that's trying to figure out how to apologize to you or how to get back in your good graces. If we're dealing with a Taurus, Page of Swords, the World card, the Lover's card and the Queen of Cups. So, Cancer, there is a Taurus here that potentially chose something over you. And they're realizing here that you have healed from this, that you have moved on. So this is someone that even though they chose something over you, they continue to stalk you. And they're seeing what you look like now when you don't give a shit about them, when you look happy. Because you see here, Cancer, this is your back and you've turned your back on this person. And now this person is looking at you, okay? <laughs> If we're dealing with the Gemini, the devil, the ace of pentacles, the two of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. Cancer, there is a Gemini here that they cannot believe where you are in life right now. I'm telling you, some of you are about to have a massive glow up in money, particularly in looks or whatever, and they are mad. This Gemini is mad because they just can't believe how you went from rags to riches, okay? This person may have wanted to see you suffer or they may have wanted to see you in the street. They may have, you know, thought that by leaving you desolate that you would end up, you know, I don't know, in a bad situation and you didn't. You know, you turned your pain into power. If we're dealing with a cancer, the nine of cups, the knight of wands, the seven of cups, and the three of swords, this person is an entire hoe. 
Okay. Cancer, leave this alone. Go home, eat yourself some chicken nuggets and mind your business, please. Okay. This is someone that will tell you whatever they want to hear, or if they see something that they like, they will go and pursue other options without a second thought. Okay. If we're dealing with a Leo, 10 of pentacles, the four of pentacles, the ace of cups, and the king of cups. Kids, sir, if you're dealing with a Leo, this is someone that is, in fact, someone new coming into your life, maybe, or, you know, if you don't know, now you know, they are head over heels in love with you. They may not always show it, okay, because this is someone that's very, very motivated about getting their bag right now. This is someone that has goals they're trying to save. They're trying to build something for themselves. So this is someone that may not have a lot of time to show you or tell you they love you, but I'm here to tell you they do. Okay. If we're dealing with a Virgo, the eight of cups, the king of pentacles, the 10 of wands and the strength card cancer, there is a Virgo here that, you know, I don't know, they feel like being in a commitment is too heavy, or they feel like, you know, you and this connection is too much of a burden. So I am seeing an emotional disconnection here. I do feel like either you're sick of this person shit or they're sick of the relationship. I, I just feel you guys disconnecting. If we're dealing with a Libra, we've got the chariot, we've got the emperor, we've got the four of cups, and we have the three of cups. If you're dealing with a Libra, right when you think this person could care less about you, Cancer, they decide that they want to act right and do what you need them to do and commit to you. So I am seeing a reconciliation. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, the judgment card, the five of cups, the five of wands, and the two of cups. Cancer, there is a Scorpio here that keeps leaving to see if the grass is greener somewhere else. It ain't. It ain't. And it never will be. Okay. You know, this person is coming back on their knees, talking to Jesus, begging, groveling, wanting a second chance. Okay. If we're dealing with a Sag, seven of swords, six of pentacles, the nine of swords and the moon card. Cancer, remember when I told you there was that X that needs money? It could be a Sagittarius possibly. Because I see that you're sitting in a lot of fear and anxiety, feeling like you're not sure if this person is just with you to use you for money or for what you can provide. And they are. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, we've got the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Fool card. Cancer, if there is a Capricorn here, X, that, you know, comes back around wanting you to trust them again, it may seem that initially this person will try to work on things with you. But then I feel like they're going to go back into full energy where, you know, they just are willing to risk you, the connection, walking around like they don't belong to anybody. So just be careful with reconciling with this person. And again, this Capricorn could be broke and wanting to use you for something. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, the Sun card, the Justice card, the Star card, and the High Priestess, Cancer, you've got all four major arcana between you and the, the Aquarius, okay? I do feel that Cancer, this Aquarius, uh, knows that the scales of karma are balancing out here. Okay. This is someone that is seeing you rise like a phoenix is what I'm getting here. Okay. And they know that this is karma balancing themselves out. So maybe this Aquarius really hurt you in the past and they see you being blessed abund abundantly. Okay. And intuitively, this person knows that you deserve this glow up because you've been through a lot in your life. Now, Cancer, if this is a new Aquarius, this is somebody that, you know, if you wonder if this Aquarius likes you, this is someone that is head over heels attracted to you. They love looking at your pictures. You make this person happy and they want to do right by you. If we're dealing with a Pisces, the hanged man, the three of wands, the ace of wands, and the empress. If you are wondering where this Pisces went, are they coming back? The answer is no. This person may have had a one night stand and gotten someone pregnant. Okay. Or they have met someone that they see a future with. So if you're waiting to hear from this Pisces, if they're waiting to see if they're coming back, I don't believe they are. Okay. All right, my loves, that's what I got for you. I love you all so very much and I will see you soon. Take care, my darlings.